What's up guys? I'm Derek Sinclair. This is my wife. Kenzie Sinclair. And this is week 16 of our 52 weeks of Incredible Dates. Incredible. Incredible. For those of you who don't know, I placed 52 date ideas in this jar. And each week we pull one date from the jar. And the rule is we have to do that date. Last week, we did not pull a date. The reason being is because we've already pulled a date that we couldn't do at the time. But now we can. So, we did it. But instead of showing you the flashback of the date, here is the flashback of how the Coke tasted. Yeah. <laughs> smells good. Boy, that hits a little different, doesn't it? Is it just me, or does it feel, like, stronger? That's what I was about to say. I feel like it's stronger. It, like, attacks my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Pretty good, though. I prefer this one, uh, mostly because it comes in a taller bottle. What do you think? You're the Coke connoisseur. Yes, I am. Um... <laughs> Did you hear it? Yeah. It's pretty good. That's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like that Coke. I, I would I would prefer to drink that Coke than just the regular Coke. Mostly because there's more in it, but also it just really stung the tongue. It really did. I don't know. I like the can. Can's good? Yeah. Can's pretty good. You like yeah. them all, though. <laughs> Close. Anyways, here is the date we pulled last week. Bam. New beach trip. And this is n emphasis on new. New. Beach trip, not nude. New. Just new. You pervs. <laughs> that was the one where I was like, oh, praise the Lord, because um, we just really found a beach trip, and, and we pulled it. We had talked about it the week before, and then we ended up, we ended up pulling it. The new beach trip. All right. So, after searching and searching, we had heard really good things about this one beach, but not because of just the beach, but because of everything else you could do at this beach, tourist-wise. Yeah. So we picked... St. Augustine. St. Augustine was the first city in America. So that photo that I do. <laughs> Before we show you our date, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below what's your favorite beach to go to. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. All right, it's time for our date. In three, two, one, pause. pause. We have an announcement to make. Couple. Couple announcements, yeah. <laughs> First one is... For those of you who don't know... Yes. I'm pregnant. She's pregnant. Maybe you could have probably guessed in a couple of the videos we did. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I'm showing a little bit. Yeah, she's been showing. So, she's a little pregnant. <laughs> Just a little. So, we're pregnant, mostly her. <laughs> <laughs> and because of that, that brings us to our next announcement. This is week 16 of 52. However, we need to put a pause on the other 52. <laughs> or other 16. The other 16. Or 26. What's the calculation? 26, 36. Maybe 36. And you're so good at math. You do this all the time. So we need to... <laughs> so because she's pregnant, we have to put a pause on the other 36 dates. Mm -hmm. We're not going to stop it completely because these are really fun to do. And I know you guys enjoy them. But... We have some other things we gotta focus on at the time. We're sorry. So we are sorry about that. However, we want to thank you yes. for supporting us. Thank you for watching this video. And in honor of us, we hope that you enjoy this video. Three, two, one, date time. So here is the bedroom. The bed was super comfy where we stayed. Great location right there on the beach. There's the kitchen. Um, and then here's the dining room. Now I will say there's a lot of problems with this condo in general. I felt like we overpaid. So if you want to know which condo we stayed in, so you can, you know, decide for yourself, message me on Instagram or something like that. However, here's the outside right here, and that's the condo. All right, that's our view, and that's my wife. That's the best view in the house. So the first morning, Derek picked me the prettiest flower in all of Florida. <laughs> before we went to our breakfast place, which we went to Maple Street Biscuit Company. <laughs> so at first they ask you a question, what is your favorite part of spring? That was our question of the month and we said bunnies. And so they don't call out your name, but they call out bunnies. 
I had biscuits and gravy with fried chicken on it and some cheese. The cheese threw me off and it was a little spicy, but it was really good. What'd you have, Derek? Chicken club. I had a chicken club sandwich, biscuit sandwich, and everything was homemade, even the honey mustard. And if you haven't been, you need to go. Then we went to the alligator farm right after breakfast. This is a must in St. Augustine. They had so many different varieties of alligators. This little poor guy got beat up. You can see his eyeball and his little leg. He's missing some fingers. So this alligator, his name is Stalker. We found out that an alligator eats the equivalent of one sandwich per week. That's for us. So for them, it's like 80 pounds a year, which is very little if you look at how big they are. But they had more things other than alligators, like these snakes and squirrels. <laughs> Derek really liked this squirrel, because it peed. Yeah, that squirrel peed <laughs> on the limb and then his other squirrel came rolled in it. And they had these dead looking turtles. Look how dead they look. I've never seen a turtle do that. I was like, we found Bruiser. <laughs> this is literally what Bruiser does. They had so many birds that it was like, is there more alligators here or birds? Yeah. And you had to watch, make sure they didn't poop on you. It looked like Jurassic Park. Oh, here we're holding an alligator. If you go, you have to go hold an alligator. It was $10 and his name was Sid. Oh yeah, what's Sid? Sid the alligator. At the lighthouse. Oh, there it is. So, found it. <laughs> did like you that. find it? I found it. <laughs> All right, the next place we went was the lighthouse. Again, this is a must. That lighthouse is like 20 stories tall. At the beginning, it had these side rooms. Eh. It is historical. Yeah. But the fancy part is going up to the top. How many steps were there, babe? Um, I don't remember. Look at that butt. At first, I was so confident in this. Derek was scared. I have a fear of heights, apparently. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But when we got to the top, totally opposite. I could not get off the wall. That was completely fine up there and everyone else was freaking out. That's the university, that's beautiful. We can see it from up there. Look at this, 20 stories tall, you can see everything. It's incredible, the views are so cool. I was pushing everyone out of the way. I'm like, excuse me, coming through. <laughs> Leprechaun walking through, let's go. Sir, 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 thank you. I have to go above you, thanks. Okay, <laughs> around, come on, coming through. There I was, I was picking up a cannon. It's a little heavy. This is like picking up Thor's hammer. It's impossible. And then of course, when you go to the beach, you have to eat at a beachy seafood restaurant. So in this case, we went to the Conch House. So I'm gonna get the lobster mac and cheese. And Derek's gonna get the local gator tail. Right? I think so. They had these beautiful seats that you could sit in, tiki's, but we didn't get one because they were packed. But look at that. Mmm. Mmm, tastes like chicken. Mmm, mmm, yeah, mmm. I think you said it tastes like gator. <laughs> yeah, I probably said it tastes like a gator. Very good, I liked it. Liked it a lot. Yeah, that's like one of your new favorite uh, foods. Yeah. New I, favorite seafood. I described it as if you could turn chicken to a steak. So that was pretty much all the touristy things we did. Now let's talk about the actual beach part. Yes. I found a snake. <laughs> this is at the pool, at the condo. Okay, we know our snakes pretty good in Tennessee, where we're from. But we don't know them so good in Florida, so we wasn't about to risk anything. And there was little kids playing in the pool, so I thought, okay, I gotta get the snake out of here. Right. 
So <laughs> here's the uh, maintenance man. I he, loved him. He came out with a, a stick. <laughs> and he was like, this is a rat stick. I was like, oh, that's it? Okay, I got this. <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah. But he was so funny. Watch this part. He's like, toss him, toss him. Oh yeah, toss him. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna toss a snake and I missed. He missed. But then, then, he, then the guy was like, there you go, give him a boost. Give him a boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I was still careful, as you know, this because you never know, he might be wrong. Right. So I was careful. And then after he went, every, everybody was cheering. Yeah, like everybody's standing on the balcony in this con condominium, and they're like, woo! I was like, all right. Yes, <laughs> hero. Funny. It was yeah, funny. It was funny. It was a good time. Yeah. Good memory. Good memory. Now that there's a snake near the pool, now I'm nervous to swim, but uh, we conquered that fear. Look how cool that looks. <laughs> I love this camera. Look at me kicking my feet. And I love <laughs> your little feet. Um, when we go downtown tonight, can I have some gas? Yes. Fun fact, I didn't learn to swim until I was like 13. I taught myself. <laughs> <laughs> Super warm pool. Yeah, it was really nice. It was like 80 degrees, I think. Look at your little feet. Certainly kick my feet. We were just saying, can we go from one side to the other? What in the world is that guy doing? <laughs> okay, let's go. No. <laughs> no we're messing around. <laughs> oh, that's fun. We was trying to walk on the floor, but we just couldn't. Now I'm like, hey, Kate. <laughs> we raced. Oh, yeah, we raced. And he was much faster. Look at this. Look at my man. There we go. Mm. <laughs> So here's the walkway to the beach. It was gated, so that was very nice. Convenient. Like I'm saying, the location was just spot on. You're right there. Yeah, like, all those people came out like, woo, about the snake. It was so funny. <laughs> Look how beautiful that is. There's no one there, it was incredible. Yeah, I think that's the thing about going in the spring, early, springish. But one Nobody's of those, there. you see all those houses? We're gonna buy one of those. <laughs> we came down to swim, cause it was warm a minute ago, but then it just got too cold, unfortunately. So I just sat there and read my book, which I love doing that. Mm -hmm. I love reading my book on the beach, so it was a good day. In San Augustine, there is just a large area of flatland before you even like get to your knees with the ocean. Yeah. Super large it's, area. Yeah, it's very shallow in the beginning. Which is nice for kids, especially, I think. Yeah. There's a lot of wildlife at the beach. We got all these birds, there's crabs, there's an octopus tentacle right here. Like an octopus tentacle. <laughs> Jellyfish is weird. It was really cool, though. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an octopus leg. I've never seen one. Like, I've seen them <laughs> at the, in the aquarium. Right. Moving around. <laughs> yeah. Not just laying there, like, de limbed. <laughs> Bruiser, at first, we took our dog. At first he was so scared and did not want to touch the water. He's not a good strong swimmer, don't like the water. He's a very strong swimmer. The problem is he's just no fat, so he sinks. <laughs> he can't float. But we ended up being so proud of him because he conquered his fears. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's in the water. Watch him. Watch Look him. at him. Watch him. Isn't he the cutest thing ever? <laughs> we tried to get him to dig. We, <laughs> we thought we was just playing. <laughs> dig, where to dig? Oh, 
<laughs> that was laying in my hole. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> look, look at that leg. Look at that leg. <laughs> <It's> hilarious. <laughs> Listen, Bruiser needs to be on look TV. Look at him. Look at him. He needs to be on TV. He needs to get famous. So that was just a glimpse of our date. We spent two days there. It wasn't a very long time yeah. there. Um, so if I could change something, it would be I wouldn't go in early spring. Some of y'all love that. That's fine. Some of y'all don't like the heat, but I love the heat. And I wanted to swim more in the ocean. Couldn't really do that. Yeah. And then I'd also want to stay longer. Because who doesn't want to stay at the beach longer than two days? <laughs> it was three days, two nights. Okay, excuse me. But those are the only things I would change. I loved it. I loved going to St. Augustine. And I'd really like to take our kids someday. I would change the condo we stayed in. Oh, yeah. I think I'd get a house this time. <laughs> That's about it. We didn't even have an oven. And we brought two pizzas. Yeah. Frozen pizzas that needed ovened. Tell them, Kenzie. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite part would be the beach. But a particular time. Uh, the last day we were there, we were checking out. As right before checkout, we woke up six, like 6 or 7 in the morning. And the sun was just coming up. So we got bruiser ready. And I think I ate really quick, really quick breakfast. Breakfast. And we walked down to the beach, and the sun's just coming up. There's no one else out there. Mm -hmm. So I took Bruiser off his leash, and he was running around having a great time. And uh, it was just us three, basically, in the whole beach by ourselves, with the sun barely coming up and a little tide. And it's just quiet and just bliss. It was awesome. I loved it. So that was my favorite part, for sure. My favorite part is kind of going along with his. I love seeing Bruiser run around and have so much fun, because he's never been to the beach. But then also, touristy-wise, I really enjoyed the alligator farm. Yeah, that's cool. Because there were so many alligators. It is now time to rate the date. Three, two, one, ten. ten. We finally did it. took 16 weeks. 16 weeks, but we did a 20 out of 20 date. Ending on a high note. But we'll, we will be back. Um, I think, why was it a 20 out of 20? I think it's self-explanatory. Wouldn't you love <laughs> to go to the beach and eat steak and alligator and lobster? And You finally got your steak on a date. Yeah. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for watching these videos and for supporting us. Go ahead, like this video. Comment down below what you think our next date is going to be when it happens. And also... When do you think it's going to happen? So I need a date and then the date we're going on the date. Oh, Subscribe to this channel. <laughs> and then no hit the notification bell because when we have a new video, you don't want to miss it. Mm -hmm. I promise. Mm -hmm. Promise. And as always, God bless. Woo.